in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. I will lift up my eyes onto the hills, from whence commit our help. Our help cometh from the Lord, who has made the heavens and the earth. Brothers and sisters, I invite you to come and join me in this morning. Wake up and pray. Eternal Father, we love you for who you are. Your name, your person, your word, and everything about you. This beautiful day that you put in existence billions of years ago and you reconstructed you began that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 the B part we welcome you and we welcome this day with all of our hearts with all of our being with all of our might in order for us to participate in the greatness of this day in you. This day we will attempt and we will do great things for ourselves, for our nations, for our families, for our states, our counties, and for you. We ask Lord God that you send angels in charge of the air and the water to protect those of our brethren who travel by land, by air, and by sea. This morning, Lord, we pray for the mother of Victoria. We pray for every one of us who have an elderly parent, that they be filled with new power, new energy, exercise authority over their physical health. Hallelujah, like that. Lord, I obtain from you the substance of your virtue, and I apply it to everyone who are sick, no matter where they are. And to every one of us who have little ones, especially this morning, I pray for little or fortunate Christopher. This morning I pray for Esther in Norway. This morning, Lord, I pray for all of those who are single moms and also those who are married moms. We pray for single dads and for married dads. This morning, we remember Mary and all of our children in Pennsylvania. This morning, we remember Mary of Chicago. Lord, we exercise authority over her life and over everything concerning her. That there is no force under the heaven that should fight against her. Lord, take up war against anyone who war against our life. And that's the same prayer we pray concerning all of our brethren all over the world. I thank you for healing those that you've healed already. This morning as we approach the table of your word, we proclaim with a loud voice 
Salvation belongs to our King, Jesus, the ruler over the kings of the earth, whose hand extends to everywhere. We proclaim that you are the one who, when you open, no one can shut, and when you shut, no one can open. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. With angels and archangels and the living creatures and elders and the saints in heaven, we join them to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And blessed is you who came, Jesus, in the name of God the Father. Hosanna in the highest. Worthy are you, Jesus. Worthy are you to receive power and honor and glory and all good things. For you were slain before the foundation of the world. We ask that this morning opportunity be opened for every one of our brethren who are looking for opportunity to start a business, opportunity for a marriage, opportunity for a high paying job. We ask that Lord you give us, you open doors for us to get back everything that we've taken from us or stolen from us or kept away from us, every open or hidden treasure should be given back to us in one form or the other. Lord, we are the crown prince of heaven on the earth and the crown princess of heaven on the earth. Therefore, we thank you and we praise you this day. We take dominion today. We take authority over this earth including over the system of darkness with the authority. And there is no power that can say a word we are with the authority. For thou art our king. And there is no king except thee. All other kings and rulers and leaders come under your authority and ours. We ask all this, Lord, through Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Messiah, and our King, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's hear the word for appointed for this morning. Matthew 5, verse 11. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Number one, it is falsely. All these are done falsely. Let us remember that John Gospel said, light has come into the world, but human beings love darkness rather than light because their action is evil or are evil. When Jesus was here, it doesn't mean he's not here. He's still here. Because he never really left. None of them really left. <laughs> and that's one thing that I like about Christianity and about Judaism. They didn't really leave. 
Last night I spent the entire, I spent some hours and I read all the book of Revelation from chapter one to the end in the middle of the night. And you know, some people talk about the Ark of the Covenant where it is in Ethiopia or where it is buried in Israel. And you can see that it was recalled back to heaven. There are so many things that when you see there, you begin to understand Jesus. Because my story is to understand more and more about the person that I serve, about the person who is my leader and my king. In order that I can honor him more and I can understand his ways and I can move with him better than I've ever done in my lifetime. Jesus is no joke. Jesus is no joke. So we can celebrate all we celebrate in Christmas of him being born as a human being, but that's just an aspect of him. If you really wanna know who he is, go and see who he is in Genesis chapter one. He is the very one that created this physical planet. And he is the very one that destroyed it at first. He is the one that came back and reconstructed it. He is the one that wiped it away with the flood of Noah. He is the one who came back and gave himself in order to redeem humanity because there is something going on that a lot of human beings do not really know. Even though they read the Bible, they can't see it. Is there about what the real war is about in the supernatural and on the earth. The earth is the theater of a big, of, of an ancient drama. It's not just about warfare. The earth is the center of activities of the heavenlies. We are all interested in what is going on here. It is the center of focus even for hell. Because wherever you see death, you see hell. There is a big hatred for Jesus, let's face it. There's a big hatred for God the Father. When somebody cannot win you, they hate you, which is okay. I'll take that. It's better that they fear me and they hate me. That should be the way you should, you should go. That just should be the way you should reason. And you, who decided to follow this God, because wherever you see God the Father, you must see God the Son, you must see God the Holy Ghost. But you see, the religions of the world stress the worship of God, but they do not stress the person of Jesus until the coming of Christianity. And they did not stress, even in ancient Judaism, they did not stress. They, they talk about God has been one, but they did not talk about the Holy Ghost until Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Ghost. We don't talk about them. We know them. We belong to them. We love them. And here he said, because you belong to me, you are willing to follow my ways. They are going to hate you. People will be disappointed and they will be sometimes disprove of you. That is reproach. People will reproach you. Um, uh, 
that reproach is. I think in the in New Testament it says, um, revile. To revile means they are disappointed at you. They disapprove of you being a Christian. What are you doing with? For that's what Jewish people say. What are we doing with somebody that was a criminal that was hung on a tree? That came to disturb the laws of Moses. And they forgot that that's the guy that gave the law to Moses. Just as Jesus is the center of hatred and anger by Lucifer and his hosts, in the same way, us who follow him become the center of people being disappointed with us, being disapproval of us. For what reason? If you read verse 10, it says, people will chase you. They will not like you because you want to do the right thing. See, the other system is constructed to do the wrong thing. Our system, the kingdom of God, is constructed, is put together to do the right thing. One has to do with hatred, anger, great hatred, great bitterness, great anger, great envy and jealousy. That's what shoot them. Vengeance and hatred. And we see that in world politics. We see that in marriages, we see that in businesses. Desire to destroy. Whereas our kingdom, the kingdom of the living God and of his lamp, Jesus, our Messiah, don't ever fail. When you talk about God the Father, don't talk about with his son always. Our kingdom is pioneered, motivated, moved by great passion of love, of mercy, of justice, that is righteousness, doing the right things, of happiness, while the other one is misery and sadness and sickness. This one is love, health, enjoyment, happiness, we, the Spirit of the Lord, is this liberty. There, there is no liberty. Ours, there is freedom. There is slavery. Ours, there is plenty. Without destruction. There, there is sometimes plenty. With a lot of fight. See, there is a, there is a difference. So, this difference is what causes the fight. Because the other camp wants you to be like them. So when you refuse to be like them, they don't like you. They are disappointed at you. And that's why if you have a, as your boss, sometimes in Africa, I realize that you, if you have as your boss, somebody who is into the occult or something, they want you to become part of it. So that they feel that it's complete, the family is complete. That's the meaning of, if you do not go their way, they are disappointed at you. I'm not talking here about Christians who are crazy and uh, who do not know how to handle life. And, and they see demons everywhere, or think everything should be interpreted through their own worldview. And he says, and also, and persecute you, they chase you. They want you to be removed from the face of the earth. It doesn't mean that you should pay attention to those things. Not that you shouldn't, you should not see your sense what is happening, but it should not be, it should not be where, where your focus is. Your focus should be on your dreams and destiny. And remember this year, 2017, is the year of uncommon supernatural financial deliverance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
and then they say all manners of um, of evil falsely or instead of saying evil wickedness all manners of uh, for falsifying make up evil against you all that because of Jesus all that because of Jesus excuse me excuse me I want to bring um, the prayer requests you can see them here we tie them um, and I'm going to lay my hand on them and begin to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask that all this, thank you that photocopy of them is in heaven. I ask that you bless them. Release answers to these prayers as you tactically, logistically, and strategically look at resources and people and money and everything that we wish for we ask this in the name of our king jesus christ our lord amen if you have not yet sent in your wish list for 2017 do that and write it with your hand or type it out and uh, put it in an envelope no matter where you are in the world put it in an in the mail and send it to PO Box 2491 Wichita Kansas State 67201 67201 USA please do that immediately so that I can begin to pile them up now if you are not yet connected with this altar, you need to do that. It will cost you some good money for you to do that. It's not free for you to be connected to this altar because this is where I prayed. Sometimes seven times a day, sometimes five times, sometimes three, depends on how less busy I am in what I'm doing. But I come here all the time to pray. Please, if you are not yet connected to this altar, be connected. Call me and I will tell you why you should. Your name should be on this altar. Yeah. If you are connected with my altar, it's a done deal thing. There's no power that can call up your spirit or turn up against you. It will be impossible. There's many things. I'm not here to talk about it. I'll talk about it in a different video. All right. Dear Father, in the name of our King, grant us authority and power on earth. We accept the authority you've given to us already this day for us to stand against every reviling, every wicked, false accusation because people don't like us being Christians and all manners of persecutions. Lord, we ask that you protect our lives this day and forevermore. And we know we are protected. On this wonderful day in this wonderful day we receive the power of the Holy Ghost in a new way not just the Holy Ghost but his power and his presence and we ask your father share your mind with us and share your love with us and we ask you, Christ the Messiah, share your heart with us. He 
it is the greatest thing that we want to ask you today. Give that to us and also visit us. Minister to us through your angels also, for we are willing. Forgive every sin, for we hold on to the blood of Jesus for mercy. Thank you, Father, as you pour your presence on us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ, our King and our Messiah, who lives and reigns with you, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen and amen and amen. God Almighty bless you, God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, both now and forever. Amen, amen, and amen. You can now begin your day. The day is open for business. God be with you. This is Bishop Idikai Mary saying to you, remember the blessing of the Lord will make you rich. Please, when you watch our broadcast, make sure you leave beautiful comments there. And make sure you invite people to enjoy what you're enjoying. Thank you, and God be with you. Bye-bye.